So, uh, how have you found the uh, first season at Games with Trinity? Um, well, obviously, pretty disappointing, really, um, in regards to the uh, the outcome. Uh, it's been tough. I found it. I found it difficult at times. Um, but we got po there was positives. There was positives to take out. You know, we we picked up the county trophy and got to the first round of the FA Cup. But obviously, um, there's been quite a few quite a few lows as well. Uh, you uh, stepped up a level when you joined Gainsborough. So where would you say the uh, like the turning point to you adapting to the uh, new league would be? Um, I can't really can't really pinpoint. I'm not I'm not sure if I. Really had a turning point. I was sort of my performances were, were all over the shop, really. Um, but it's, there, there is there is a difference, especially this year. Um, there's a lot of teams, obviously, you know, able to to, to work on on a lot because they're full time, and um, there is a, a distinct difference in the in the fitness aspect. Uh, but I, I'm not I'm not sure turning point wise really. Um, I think. I just kept going. I just didn't didn't stop and just plugged away really more than I think. So, is, uh, did you expect the league to be as comp competitive as it is, or was it something different? Um, I expected it to yeah, I expected it to be be competitive. Um, I didn't expect it to be uh, as improved as as when I'd last played in it. I, I played in it quite a few years back, and there's definitely a distinct difference now um, and I think that is a case of you know the fact there's a lot of good teams in there and there's a lot of teams that have taken that leap to, to train more often you know if they can go full time and uh, yeah, the, lef the level's certainly certainly gone up from what I remember or maybe I've just got older and slower I'm not sure. <laughs> so uh, how difficult was it to step away from Spalding when you first came to Gainsborough? Uh, I think that's yeah everyone knows it's well documented uh, it was very difficult um, because that club had been so good to me um, for quite a, wh a while uh, and I'd turned down going to, to places before because I was just happy playing my football there with you know work and, and what my aspirations were outside of football um, so it was a tough decision but but I made the right one you know I needed I needed to make make that choice and I, I needed to, uh, to to have a go this season so picking up the most improved player award would that be a reward for the the step you took, the decision you made to join Gainsborough. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't know really. I think uh, I'm taking it as like a, it's a nice sort of uh, compliment from the fans. Really, um, that's kind of what I've seen it as. It's nice that they've, they've noticed that I, I struggled and, um, and I suppose got a little bit better. So it's a, I'm just going to take it as a nice backhanded compliment really from from the from the supporters. Uh, what sort of area would you say you struggled in when you first came? Like, uh, it, I was struggling with uh, with the commitment aspect. Um, it's difficult. I found it difficult. I was travelling, travelling obviously by myself all year, um, and you know, not to make excuses because most you know a lot of players work full time. Um, it was just it was just a step up for me with with what was going on as well outside of football and. Sometimes that's sort of at your control, and I just, I just found it difficult in general, really. So, uh, you speak about the commitment. So, looking towards next year, what what would you say your plans are? Uh, well, I don't know yet. It's so early doors. Um, I, I obviously, the instant part of me, I can never get away from the uh, from the competitive aspect of me, where I want to play. Um, at a high level, and uh, ideally, you know, I'd I'd like to uh, I'd like to carry on playing it at Gainsborough. I, I want to carry on playing for Gainsborough, but I've got to think of the realities. I've got to think of the the logistics this season instead, because I've got to reflect on last season and and it, it, at times, you know, finishing work, jumping in the car, driving an hour to training was you know it was a little bit exhausting um, at the best of times. So I need to. Have a little bit of time to think about um, what I'm doing instead of making a rash decision. Uh, so, have you spoke to Lee? Have you told him these uh, your views on the offer on the table, sort of thing? I have, yeah, yeah. Um, like I say, um, I'd love to turn around and just say to him, "Yeah, let's let's do it, let's go for it," because um, you know, I didn't. It's, it's not the way I want. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave the club having got relegated. Um, I'd like to make 
better history, you know, by getting a promotion would be would be the ideal uh, scenario. But instead of going with my my heart of I want to compete, I've got to think football's not my it's not my world. You know, it hasn't been for a while. I've got to think about my career and I've got to think about um, other other interests and other things. So I just need a bit of time. And um, but I am pleased that that obviously they'd like me to stay um, because. If I can work it, I do want to stay. <laughs>